Accept your new name, Brother Gregor, and wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. Fuck, that was embarrassing. Talk to me. Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. Is that necessary? Um... Thanks for prompting me during the rite. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? I am here for a uh, runaway bandit, but that is the truth, and I am not here to tell the truth. Um, easiest path to education. It was my choice. For a common lad like me, it's the easiest way to get an education and do something worthwhile with my life. It looks like we're both here for the same reason. I think we'll get along. Alright then. Um, tell me something about yourself. Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite... unexpected. Alright, um... Let's go to the tour. Could we not do the tour? I don't want this tour to be as long as that one tour we had in Ratai. With... What's his name? Nightingale or something. Nightwatch. Nightingale? Something? I don't, I don't know. But I don't want to do the tour. Is it necessary? I hope it's not necessary. Could we not do it? Could we not do it? Is it alright if we don't do the tour? I thought that since you're literally a complete novice, you'd be interested to know what you have to do tomorrow. But if you don't want to come with me, I won't force you. Here's a letter from the prior with the daily schedule. Read it and observe it. At least we have instructions. Um... Um... Thanks for everything. I'll look around myself. Thanks for everything. I'll look around myself. Are you sure? It will make your life easier if I show you around. Otherwise, tomorrow you'll be standing around staring like an idiot while everyone else knows what they have to do. Will it be a problem if I don't figure things out? Um, You, like, gave me a, a, a thing with instructions, right? So I hope that's going to I'll work, work it out myself. Suit yourself. If you think you don't need any explanations, just follow the schedule you got from the prior. Yeah, 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 yeah. Schedule. Sweet. Um, oh wait, fuck. We don't have a monastery map, so I have no damn clue where to go. If I follow the schedule. Okay, let's check out the schedule. Everyday labors. Okay, what do we have here? Brother and novices, the following schedule. Okay, we got schedules. Apparently, I still can't read. It was a lot better than uh, the books I read before, but still can't fucking read. Um, um, we got here uh, 3 a.m. 12 no no. I guess that means noon. Gotcha. 3 a.m. start of the day. Okay. It's past three. Actually, it's almost night. So, um, what do I do at? Seven. Wait, what, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be looking for people. God damn it. Um, um, hey. I wanna... I'm supposed to be looking for people. What's... Okay, hi. 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 I don't need the tour, because it's probably gonna take like 30 minutes, but I wanna ask you about... I am not here to find lockpicks. What the fuck? Tell me something about yourself. Okay. I am not gonna tell anyone that I'm here for pious. Fuck that. Will you tell me something about yourself? There's not much to tell. 
I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. All right. Um, why would I ask him about lockpicks? What? Is sneaking going to be necessary for this? Anyway, this guy, um, what was his name again? Antonius. Son of a merchant. Wants to read. Decided to go to a monastery, so that's what he is. Okay, I have a few questions. I'd like questions. to ask you something about the monastery. So am I supposed to be asking every single person here, or are we talking about just the novices? Because, if I'm not mistaken, Pius is, like, just recently joined? So he could be one of the novices. How many of, of them are there? Like, six? Um... Um, 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 um. Who's in charge? Are there rifts? Why would I be interested in that? Hmm. Okay, well, that's all. Um, I think we're good. Thank you for your time, brother. I guess I'm just gonna have to look for someone with a name. Sir Gator John, Please. hi. I'm Gregor and I'm new here. I know. I saw you in the church during the ceremony. I have a feeling we'll be meeting again soon. And often. You see, I'm a Sir Cater. What does that mean? I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything is the way it should be. And um, when it's not the way it should be? Then we're authorized to mete out punishment. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? I hope that's not going to happen, but with my purpose here, uh, we're probably going to, like, meet a couple more times. I'd like to ask you about something. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge? Tell me something about life here. Rules of St. Benedict. History. What do you guys do? Novices. What can you tell me about the novices here? And what can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic life. After a year, you can make your vows and become a fully-fledged brother. I meant something specific about the brothers that are here. But you know them yourself. Yorick is a an odd one. But he's diligent and eager, perhaps too eager. Siskin is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Antonius is hard-working and will help with anything, but prays less than he ought. Lucas is as quiet as a mouse, and no one knows much about him. And then we have you, about who I know nothing. Okay then, so how many people were there? Like four? Four including me, so that's five. So I have four people to ask. That's if Pius is one of the novices. Monk. Oh, y Yoda. Notice Yoda. You don't look young. Hi. Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yoda, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the older monks. You never know when it might come in handy. Okay, um, I'm looking for... nope. Tell me something about yourself. Can you tell me something about yourself? I would if there was anything noteworthy to say. But I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner, now a monk. There's nothing in my past, present, or future that anyone could find interesting. Why did you join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As the youngest son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate, but he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and send me here. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. It's better than mucking out manure. Okay then, what do you think about the other novices? I'm interested in the other novices. That Antonius. Battle must have been do you know terrible. anything about Antonius? You see how many new Only that he came to the monastery you? voluntarily, no, because he didn't want to I work in his father's shop. Antonius is alright. You can rely on him. He won't that betray your confidence. Reckon. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the and other brothers. Gotcha. I'm interested in something else. 
The very time the Talmberg I'm not looking for a criminal. At least, I'm not going to tell that to anyone just yet. I didn't know that. Jesus. Okay, we're good. Um. Monk. People with names. Names. Who are the other two again? I guess I'm looking for people with white robes. One of them is Lucas, and the other guy is, uh. Some guy with a snaky name, I guess. Hi, you have a name. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Neblus, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Okay, then. Is that going to help me? Um, can I help with anything? Suppose I needed to obtain something. Uh, like, um, contraband? I'm not going to say that. Um, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. I'm the provost of this monastery. It's my job to ensure the monks live a humble life and that any surpluses go to the poor. But in reality, I spend all my time making sure my brother's gluttony and the construction of a new church don't swallow up the few resources we have left. Okay then, um, can I help with anything? Why would I? Um, I'd like to ask you about something. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge? These questions aren't relevant, are they? Novices? What can you tell me about the novices here? What can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic life. I meant something specific. But you know them yourself. Antonius, you... Okay, apparently these people, at least the uh, monks in black with names, will say the same about the uh, novices. Um, so, oh, man, I want to say this, but I don't know how he's going to react. Can I help with anything? I'll fucking help him. Is there anything I could help with? You know, there is. Perhaps you've heard that Abbot Peter is gravely ill. I'm interested in medicine, and I know there's a cure for the abbot's ailment. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. What do you say? You're gonna put saving an abbot's life on the hands of a newbie? I mean, I do look capable, so you can count on my help. What do you need me for? I don't want... You can count on my help. You can count on my help. What do you need me to do? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. Now you know, most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God, and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses, but also the medicine to cure them, then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Why are books full of, like, uh, recipes for cures be prohibited to read? Is that, is that, that like, uh, written with Satan's blood or something? Why are they forbidden? Where can I find it? Do you have any advice? Why can't you do it yourself? Why are they forbidden? Why are they forbidden? Because they contain occult and demonic practices, witchcraft and all manner of evil. Or so some people claim. It's nonsense, of course. This is nothing but a book of medicine, albeit one written by a pagan. Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, is universally acknowledged to be a wise man. But here, at some point, someone decided his book is the work of a Saracen devil and must be kept under lock and key. Since then, no one can even talk about the book. But the three wise men were from the East, were they not? I wouldn't know. Were they? I guess they were. Um, where can I find it? Where can I find it? In the library, there's a large cabinet with a lock on it. The forbidden books are inside. You'll easily recognize what you're looking for. The cover has not only a Latin inscription, but also Saracen letters. Bring it to me, but leave the other books there. No one will notice if one book disappears, but if more were to vanish, someone would certainly begin to look into it, which is exactly what we don't want. I'm looking for Latin and Saracen letters. I don't know those letters. 
Do you have any advice? What can you do with your... I'm fucking ready. You know, you should fucking help me look for this uh, pious guy if I help you, okay? I mean, you're doing something illegal in this place. So help me with something legal as well, okay? I'm ready. One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, you'll need to go at night. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. They say Brother Solarius understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to make Peter's medicine. We'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. Well, there's an election. What? Okay, apparently this turned into something very political. Get the key to the cabinet, steal a forbidden book. Okay, um... Suppose I needed to obtain something on the quiet in the monastery. Okay, I guess this guy's open for questions like these. Listen, brother. Uh, is there anyone in the monastery who can help me get hold of something... Uh, well, something that's not so readily available? Supposing, of course, just hypothetically, you wanted to get something like that, I'd turn to Brother Celarius. They say he used to be a burglar. But you didn't hear it from me. Okay, apparently it's Celarius again. Let's go. Okay, where is Celarius? Celarius, that's a lot of quests. What? Raiders? No. Libri Prohibiti. Okay, we have like side quests which are probably not even related to uh, killing Pius. That guy looks special. Not you, this guy. Okay, maybe not. Antonius? Okay. So we've talked to two people, Antonius and uh, Yoda. I feel quite hungry. Lucas, hi. I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are? Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Okay. Tell me about yourself, even though you already told me that you want to be left alone. Will you tell me something about yourself? I... there's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Why won't you tell me anything? Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I, I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Gotcha. Tell me about the other novices. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. Wow, you're being very helpful. Yodok. Do you know anything about Yodok? I don't. He doesn't like me, and he's on very friendly terms with the circators. That's about it. You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. Let's ask about Antonius. I didn't ask about Antonius yet. I'd like to know something about the... Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. And I've never asked about him. All right, then. Thank you for being helpful. Or not. I'm not going to tell you uh, about the uh, search. About yourself? Will you tell me something about yourself? Wait, no. I, there's nothing I... I mean, where are you from? I'm a... Okay, we already asked that. I'm looking... Nope. Come on. Okay, we're good. So, uh, we've talked to Antonius, Yodok, Lucas. Okay, we have a quest to go to bed. And the uh, guy whose name sounds like a snake. Wait, no, what? Where's... Oh, fuck, where's the bed? Go to bed. We're going to uh, the green one. Um, where's the bed? Upstairs, maybe. Okay. Um, wh what are we doing? What are we doing? Where's the exit? What? The forbidden Don't books must be cabinet. in that cabinet. It contains forbidden books. Oh, we got the cabinet. Okay. So if I knock you out, do you by any chance have the keys inside? To open it, I mean. Hope so. Okay, I gotta find my bed. Where's my bed, dude? Yeah, I really should have taken that to her. If you say so. Oh, here we I go. Still Stairs. Seen the last of 
That Sigismund is still on the rampage, attacking the nobles one by one across the land. And brigands are like weeds. Burn them down, and they just sprout up somewhere else. Have you heard they pillaged and torched old Colburn's farmstead? That's not the half of it. What about the attack on Murayet? While the lords are dealing with one lot of marauders in Privoslavets, there's another bunch pillaging somewhere else. There'll be no peace as long as Sigismund goes on ransacking Bohemia, sure as the sun circles the earth. You know how to lift a fellow's spirits. Okay. Uh, Sir Caterjan talked to you already. Lucas? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh the other guy must be here. Yodok? And Tony's? Where's the other guy? I mean, the other guy has got to be whatever his name is, Pi is. Whatever. I guess I'm going to sleep. Wait, 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 wait a second. I need to, uh, figure out when I should... What the fuck is that sound? Okay, um, what am I looking at? 3 a.m.? Holy shit, that's early. Gotcha, then. Okay. Do I just pick a bed, or... Do I ha Oh, here we go. There's a Riptide tournament happening going on. I wish to join, but I am living the life of... Why is... Everyone's still asleep. What? Did I wake up too early, you fucking... Wake up, fool. Wake up. Slackers. Go to bed, I already slept. What? It's you. Snake guy. Uh, no. Clear off. Let me sleep. Start of the day. 3 a.m. What time is it? It's past 3. What's going on? Okay, like, we're an hour late, so what am I supposed to be doing next? Wow, people are still sleeping. Holy shit. Should I be, like, skipping to, uh, the next duty? Um, morning prayer. It's 4 a.m., but people are still fucking sleeping. I don't understand. Okay, people are waking up now. Uh, morning prayer. Um... Wait, I guess I should just follow the, uh, let wait, no. What? Did you expect me to sleep on this bed? Oh, here we go. Go to the church for prayer and mass. Yeah, I, I'm headed there. Gotcha. Now, can I talk to Siskin? My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. Now, are you here of your own free will, or is this a punishment? Although, it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. Did you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Now oh, this bitch knows quite a bit, it looks like. And trust, no. Will you tell me something about yourself? Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Wait, where are we supposed to be headed to mass? Whatever, we can talk. Fuck it. Um, are you hiding something? Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, the lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. You need not have come here if you didn't want to. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg alms by the city gate. I had one choice, the monastery or nothing. If it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive? Why did I get mission, like, updates? What? I found Pius? What? They must have figured out that you robbed him. They must have realized you robbed them. <laughs> I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. Okay, what will you do next?
What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere far, far away from here. Gotcha. Okay, so... That's all I wanted to know. You don't want to be here. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. Okay, then. I'm not gonna trust you about anything. I want to ask you about... Can you tell me something about yourself? Again? No, um, the other novices. I'd be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Antonius. Tell me about Antonius. Well, if there was a monk I'd recommend as a friend, with of course the exception of myself, it would be Antonius. He has a calm soul, he's easy to talk to, and you can always rely on him. Yeah, Yodok. I'm interested in Yodok. What could interest you about him? He's a no-good rat. He'll turn you in for the price of a turnip. I'd bet my life that if he wasn't here, he'd be a cumin scout, bowing and scraping for a few groschen. That doesn't sound too flattering. It wasn't meant to. No matter what you do here, watch out for him. He's got his eye on everyone, and he'll rat on you for even the slightest of infractions. And Lucas? What can you tell me about Lucas? It's a tricky situation with Lucas. No one really knows anything about him. I've tried so many times to talk to him, but he always backs away like a virgin on a wedding night. All right, then. That's a lot of info. Absolutely. Thank you, uh, right. Snake Pliskin, whatever your name is. Let's head to Mass. Yo, dude, wake up! Good, we're here. Okay, um, um, Sir Cater John talk to you. Oh, Stibber. Stibber. Can't you see we are at Mass? Oh, you didn't notice. Sorry. We'll do this later then. Um, uh, do I just pick a spot? Guess so. And then what were we gonna do? Is there a spot here for me, or you just want me to stand here and wait? Guess so. Um, until what time are we supposed to be praying? Don't mind me. This is a Bible. Common meal. Okay, at six a.m. We will eat. Are we good? Okay, good. Alright, um, eat with the others. Gotcha. Maybe it's supposed to be doing my duties here as a, like, brother? I mean, I can just totally knock out all the other novices and try to find the dice the, uh, the recruiter told me about. Perfect silence. Or if anyone may perhaps want to read, let him read to himself in such a way as not to disturb anyone else. Let none air be said rather early, at the middle of the eighth hour, and let them again do what work has to be done until vespers. Weak or sickly brethren should be assigned a task or craft of such a nature as to keep them from idleness and at the same time not to overburden them or drive them away with excessive toil. Their weakness must be taken into consideration by the abbot. Gotcha. The rule of Saint Benedict. Readings on daily manual labor. Idleness is the enemy of the soul. Maybe it's supposed to be listening to you? I don't think so. Do I just pick out a, a spot? Yes, so. Where are the other novices? Is there like a novice table? Freshman table. Okay, hi. Let's let's uh, sit together. What? Okay, then. Um, what, what am I doing? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, fuck. Uh, let's, let's just... Uh, do our jobs until night, and then we will do the thing about the abbot's medicine. Where, where, where's my chair? Where's my spot? Do I have a spot reserved for me? I think that's the one. Wait, no, this is not... What? No, where's my food? Oh, there we go. Sweetness. Okay. Their weakness must be taken into consideration by the abbot. The rule of Saint Benedict. Nevertheless, hi. Seems special. Therefore, what is it, brother? Abbot, I'd like to ask you about. Wait, did I already talk to you? I think I already talked to you. I don't remember the names, dude. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. I think I already did. I mean, were you the guy who gave me the, uh, the, the quest for? 
but demonstrating the medicine precepts by his actions for I'm waiting harder. that's a lot of wait fucking wait let's go okay there's a t wait no that's not my mission but bold, hard, okay, what are we doing next proud and disobedient character. brother he should curb at the very beginning what are you doing here doing shouldn't you be working somewhere Idle hands Knowing are the devil's written, workshop. The fool is not what? I just, what? I just finished eating. Fuck you. What? Again, no, um, I wasn't feeling well. I was feeling a bit queasy. And you will deliver his Brother, save your excuses for someone else. This is your first warning. Don't do it again. Those guys are still eating. Go after them. Fucking idiot. Um, um, wh where am I supposed to be headed? Oh, was I way too late? What? I think I was way too late. Was it like seven or eight? Eight. Yeah, it's, it's like a little past eight, but there's the place. Work in the fratry, signed by Brother Novellus. Novellus. That's you. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. No, that's my name. Gregor. Gregory. Gregory or Henry. Well, just call me Henry. Henry is a very, uh, monkey name. I'm here for my duties. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. Today's task, two cockerel potions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Gotcha, cockerel potions. This? Okay. Um, fuck. Okay. Here we go again. Alchemy. Read. Cockerel po- Ooh, I can totally- Wait, no, this is not it. Can't I make, like, a- What's it called again? Saver snaps? I can totally make saver snaps. Okay, cockerel. We need a valerian, mint, and spiritus. Gotcha. And spiritus. Wait, no, we need two cockerel potions. Okay, so what does it say? Wait, no, that's not it. Okay, we need four mint. Shit. Okay. Okay, he whose eyelids are falling and is failing, falling, and his body ceases to serve him, and yet has before him a long journey. Elt. Tell. Elt. Let him drink this potion and restore his energy. You will need spirits, a handful of valerian, and two of mint. Grind the mint. Boil the mint for one turn. Add the valerian and boil for two more turns. Distill. Okay. I totally forgot the first part. Grind mint, boil mint for one, add valerian and boil for two, and then distill. Okay. Um. Grind the mint. Um. Get the mint. How do I? Uh. Wait. No. Um. We need spiritus. We start with uh the base. I think that's what you call it. And then we get mint. I think we need, um, two. Wait, no, you're putting it back. What? Okay, get one. Grind the mint on the mortar. Let's get another, um, serving. Wait, we need two mint? Yep, we need two. Throw it in. Sweetness. Okay, we grind it. Get the pestle. Right. I think I'm doing this right. I am very filthy. I gotta take a bath. Okay, um. Boil the mint for one turn. Put it in the cauldron. Okay. Man. Bellow. How do we turn, uh, turn this thing on again? Oh, wait, no. There's a button for that. Okay. Um, sand glass. Okay, get the valerian. Wait, no. Uh, bellow. Oh, wait, no. That's that's way too long. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get that. Throw in the valerian. Uh oh, I'm gonna end up poisoning someone. And then boil for two more turns. Gotcha. Okay. Bellows. Let's go. I think one bellow lasts a single turn. I think that's how it works. Okay, turn that. 
and juice this again. Sweetness. Do we need to cool? No, it's distill. I think this is what it is. Gotcha. Um, I think that's two turns. We just use this? Get a cauldron? Uh, dish? Um, what? Uh, how do we, how do we put it in the still? Oh, fuck me. How do we, uh, do we need to use a file? Wait, no, you, you turn that into a potion if you use a file, so put it back, put it back. P put it back. How do we use a still? The potion can then be poured directly from the cauldron into the file or passed through the distiller. Do we need to get a file and put it under the distiller? Wait, no, what? What? It doesn't complete anything. What? Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. So that's how you use it. And we turn it on. Y yes. Okay, keep doing that. Is it done? Okay, you put it in your pocket without a... Uh... Oh, we got a cockerel potion. Sweetness. Okay, let's do it again. Hey, we got it. I'm a genius. Yeah, we got the potion. What do you desire, Brother Gregor? I got the potions. I've finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. I mean, I have had experience. You know what I made? Cure for poison. Um... Are we done? Is there anything else that I need to do? Okay, so 12 so noon, we head to the library. I think we're ready. Wait, no. What? I don't want to get caught again, because I already got, like, one warning. This is the same place. What? Hi. Is it you? No. Um, who am I supposed to talk to? Brother Librarian. Is that his name? Librarian? You. What is it, brother? I'm here for work. I'm here to work. Good. This is most likely the first time you've ever done this in your life. But it's easier than you think. Just a bit of practice and learning Latin. Here's the original, and here are the blank parchments on which you'll copy what you read in the original. Is that clear? Then you may begin, and try not to make a mess of it. Gotcha, okay. Sit at the table and begin copying. Which table? Here we go. Okay, what are we reading? What the fuck? I cannot read that. That is not even an E. It. What the fuck am I reading here? Okay, I guess I'm, like, supposed to pick out which one of these options is written? God damn. Okay, that looks like a P.O. Uh, that could be a T. Er. Oof. Oof. Oh. I need to pick out a word. I just figure things out just with that. Um, that kind of looks like consumati or columat. Columin. What? Col. Co. Columati. Col. DS, I think that's a uh, Latin word. So it's gotta be the third one, right? Esto. Okay, that's probably not it. That kinda looks like UT Oot. Et. No, that's an octo. Kinda looks like octo. I think this is it. First one. Okay, fuck. Fa. Man, you gotta pick out a word. Fa. 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 Okay, that's not. A thing. Okay, not, not even a. Fa. Fa. Fit. 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 First? Ah, uh, man. Two. Two. Uh, people need to, like, write simpler letters. God damn it. First one? Said the. But. Cos? Cos. That kind of looks like cos. Second word. Or is that, like, an E? A very C-looking E. 
Is there... Okay, that, 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 that word... Kinda look like it starts with an E. So the first, I mean second word, has got to be a C. See that? That says Eus. And the one below it says come. So the second letter has got to be starting with a C? So Sedelat Kos U Ufof. What? That's not an S. Du Venenan. Wait, oh no, that's not it. Veni. What? Veni. Oh, fucking hell. Said the Eos. Oh, man. Am I even, like, supposed to be comparing these things? Oh, what? The soup, soup, soup. Oh, was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh word? Three, four, five, six. Okay, that does not look like foops. Ah? It kind of looks like an F. So it's got to be this. I think we did it. Can I read it? Can I read my work? That's not my work. Can I read my work? That's not my work. Okay, whatever. I can hardly believe it. Good gracious, so many mistakes. I guess I wrote down gibberish, but I still got rep. Probably from doing my job just by being a complete dumbass. Wait. Um, do you have the uh, thing for... What troubled you? The, the forbidden books. I've heard there are some forbidden books locked up in the library. That's correct. They're here, safely hidden away from anyone who might be tempted to read them. Well, I'm not going to read them. What are you looking at me for? Can I look at them? Could a book be forbidden by mistake? How does a book become forbidden? Could a book be prohibited by mistake? Maybe a good book or a useful one? No errors are made. Every book on the prohibited list is there for a reason. Who am I to doubt the wisdom of Mother Church? The librarian? Can I look at them? What if I just wanted to take a peek? Could I? You could not. They are libri prohibiti. And the only people permitted access to them are the abbot and I. Although I see no reason why he or I would ever want to read them. You keep emphasizing I, so are you telling me that I'm going to steal the keys from you? All right, then. Um, uh, I can't persuade him by any of the stats that I can actually beat him with. Control him, I guess. Not even if I were to beg or promise a favor in return? Hmm. Oh, that worked. If you could prove to me that you truly like books... Then maybe. I mean, I like books. I fuck them all night. Is that what we're talking about? How do... Okay, um... I don't need to hear anything else. How do I prove that to him? Is there anything I can do to help here? I'd like to ask you about something. Could I learn something about the other novices in the library? Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. And can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. Okay, then. Could I see the Book of Medicine? I've heard about Avicenna's Book of Medicine. Could I see it? Who told you about that? Of course you can't! A squirrel. Okay, then. I guess I'm just gonna have to prove to this guy that I like books. Unzip, guy. Let's fuck this book right in front of him. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I'm supposed to be looking for bandits. Okay, I cannot lockpick that. Libri prohibiti. Steal the forbidden book at night, but I cannot get the key. Where do I find the key? From this guy. But I cannot pickpocket people. I can, however, knock him out. 
Okay, what are we gonna do next? Oh, worship again! I mean, it's like just my first day, but I'm already bored by it. Go to the church and pray! Alrighty then! Okay, so, we are gonna head to bed early, and then we wake up even earlier, and then we sneak around. Okay, we have a plan. So, when am I gonna wake up? Like, probably two hours after everyone's asleep. Okay, time to be sneaky. Okay, okay, alright, alright. We are looking for a way to open the cabinet. Steal the forbidden book. Gotcha. Okay. Is Brother Guy here? Nevelis Solarius. Ain't he the guy, the, the sneaky guy, the burglar guy? Lucas. I need a fucking torch, dude. Oh man, do I knock him out? Oh man, do I have an escape route? I can probably escape through here, but this place is... There's no way out of here. The way out is through there. I mean, it's not like these people have weapons on them, right? Neither do I. But I've had experience. But maybe these guys also have? I don't know where they came from. Probably a lot of them are old bandits. I, I fucking don't know. Fuck, do I knock him out? Will he wake up tomorrow morning? I mean, I saved after I slept right, so yeah, let's knock him out. Fuck this. Give me the fucking keys, dude. Okay, that worked. Can he knock everyone out? Just kidding. Okay, we got the keys. Okay, and I'm gonna give it back to you, okay? Don't worry, mate. It was all just a dream. Oh, man. I really didn't want to do that, but that was the only way. I couldn't lockpick. I can pickpocket. I can, however, choke people to uh, knock them unconscious. Are there gonna be like um patrols at night? Sure, hope not. Downstairs? Like down downstairs? Like right, this end of the place. This looks like a fucking dungeon. I am hearing someone. I am totally hearing someone. Do not go there. I do not want to fight monks. Aren't they, like, very good when it comes to punching stuff? Where the fuck's the library? Is this it? Oh, I think this is it. Okay, good. What are you doing?